Alright, been a while since you uh, saw this. Actually, I only made one video about this. Um, this is the Acer Switch 110 tablet. And actually, this is the second Switch 110 I had. Or have. So you can see there's two boxes over there. The first one suffered from a disintegration of its power supply. The power supply little tip because it's smaller than a micrometer. Yeah, that really, really annoys me when companies decide to make power supplies for these things that are so small that they disintegrate when as soon as you breathe on them the wrong way. So that kind of sucked. Fortunately I was able to get a replacement for free because it was still within 30 days and this one has been going fine while I've been treating it with the utmost of care. There's a look at the port, uh, port arrangement. See I've got it attached to the keyboard but it can detach. It's a, it's a convertible laptop. That's what they call this. There's a USB port over there. That's part of the uh, the keyboard base. It's basically a tablet. That's all it is. Nothing really more than that. Which I'm probably not going to be able to get open with one hand. <laughs> yeah, that's not really what I was hoping for. Alright, yes I know, it's got a touch screen on it and I actually have been using the touch screen, which you might be able to tell if I turn the camera light on. Even though I hate touch screens with a burning passion, well I figured that uh, since this one's got one, I might as well actually use it. Let's go ahead and flare it up. I'm using the power button being on uh, the keyboard area, but it's not on this, it's on the actual unit, because of course this detaches. I've also noticed the logo appears sideways. That's kind of amusing, really. That was a little bit of a concern. <laughs> but it, it just boots up so fast that, uh, well, it doesn't really need to show the logo. Alright, I'm going to have to enter my password here. Something else I've noticed about this is that it doesn't actually show the little logo there. I have no idea why, but it doesn't. Anyways, this thing is running Windows 10. Yes, I know, it's yet another Windows 10 machine that I have. Mm, it's telling me that the battery level on this thing is low, even though I charged it yesterday. Which I could check that. Yeah, I don't think that's low. <laughs> Piece of junk. Anyways, it runs on battery. Pretty nicely, actually. It'll run almost forever. Basically, as long as I'd ever want, want to run it. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at some of the specifications. I don't like this trackpad. I can already tell you right off the bat, this is probably one of the most useless trackpads I've ever seen. Alright. So we'll take a look here. You can see it's an Intel Atom X5Z8300 CPU at 1.44 GHz. 2 gigs of RAM. Running 32-bit Windows for some reason, even though the CPU is x64, and that's kind of annoying, really. I do need to change the computer name, but I'll do that at a later time. Something else that I'd like to point out about this when the device manager actually opens is that... where would they be? CPUs. Processing units. Processors. There we go. This is a true quad-core system. You can see there are all four cores, making this the only quad-core that I've got in my possession. It's got Intel audio, runs a, uh, a Kingston, appears to be a Kingston SSD on board. It's just flash storage, really. Intel graphics. I think those are HD 4000 capable. It's a UEFI system, obviously. I think that's really it. There's not much else I can think of to show off on this system. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.